Vanessa Williams spent hours smelling him. We spent a lot of hours oh, yeah. holding hands and sweating together and, uh, and yeah. smelling each other. Uh -huh. Sandra Bullock wanted to get smooched by him. You want to smooch me? You want to. Enjoy the rest of your night. Madonna just straight up suck his toe. Dancing in the rain with you. And even Brad Pitt became a victim of his charm. You regret nothing. You feel nothing. We're not referring to a specific person, but to a concept, the Latin lover. Curiously, the hot, tan, accented character was created not for Latinos or by Latinos. And the original Latin lover was actually European, not Latin American. Today we're looking at how Latino men have been both the victims and the beneficiaries of this fetish. As we do in these videos, let's pontificate. In Hollywood, the Latin lover emerged as an alternative to the man of action. He's the one who unbridles the uptight white girl with his mysterious, sexy, and sweaty ways. I don't even own a dress. I don't even own a brush. No, Jesus. Oh, Which part of that is supposed to shock me? However, the origin of Latin in Latin Lover actually comes from a European perspective. It's a characterization that was practically invented for Rudolf Valentino, the Italian actor who became a silent film star. But the profile basically described any handsome man who spoke a romance language, such as Spanish, Portuguese, or Italian. Everyone should have a hobby, don't you think? Man is making love. Valentino's real life was actually a scandalous telenovela all on its own, but it was his suave looks that caused a stir and made a metrosexual sensation out of him. Many people believe that Valentino was gay because, unlike the prototypical Hollywood actor, the Italian was portrayed as being sensitive, passionate, and caring. And that's important for two reasons. First, because it was a huge, macho projection on behalf of self-conscious Americans. And secondly, because it was an assumption that became the core trait of the Latin lover stereotype. The appeal of the forbidden, exotic man has endured in the periphery of American consciousness, to the point that over decades we've actually had numerous Latin lovers, many of whom were not even Latino, such as George Hamilton. No, 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 I think I see that. <laughs> my, uh, my eyes are much deeper and uh, my expression is much more arrogant. I am not so sure. And the most interesting man in the world, aka the Dos Equis dude. Stay thirsty, my friends. That's in addition to all of the Spanish-speaking celebrities that did more than their part to propagate the stereotype. You gotta know how to deal with a woman that won't let go. The price you pay for being a gigolo. Rico. As I mentioned in the intro, this stereotype was not created by Latinos, although it's certainly been attributed to us. As a result, if you're a Latino living in the United States, you've probably faced some sort of consequence on behalf of this myth, especially in the expectations that Americans might have when they date a Latino man. For example, people might expect you to be sensitive. Mm. Oh, tell me about me. Why don't you tell me this was your first time? And at the same time, a chauvinist asshole. Do you think I like being here alone? Look, Rosie, you're not my wife, all right? Or that you know how to dance salsa. <laughs> and are a sizzling, passionate lover. So passionate, in fact, that you've already picked out the 12 names of the children you're planning to deposit and personally extract from the womb of your lover. <laughs> Is any of this true? Probably not. Has it been beneficial to us when it comes to getting laid? Possibly. Either way, the Latin lover stereotype persists, no matter how often we might explain that there's no single monolithic Latino identity. At this point, you're probably asking, what about the stereotype suffered by Latinas? Surely there's parallels to be drawn between all of the men you've mentioned and the Sofia Vergara's, JLo's, Sama Hayek's, Dolores del Rio, Selena Gomez, and Soa Saldana's of the world, right? Yes, of course. But the script was written by two sexy, beautiful dudes, my buddy Jose and I, 
And it's not our place to speak about the experience of women, even if they probably have it much worse than us. That's it for this video. Don't forget to check out the Americano on social media for more. Adios.